We are following some breaking news at this hour. NASA astronauts SUNY Williams and Butch Wilmore are finally coming home. This is a live look you see behind me from NASA at those efforts at this hour. You can see them in the control center there. Overnight, they undocked from the International Space Station, beginning their 17 hour journey back to Earth. They're expected to splash down off the Florida coast within this hour. and We're going to bring that to you live. So here's how we got there. Let's take a look here. The pair lifted off of from Cape Canaveral last June for a week long mission that turned into a nine month stay. The Boeing Starliner that was supposed to bring them back had technical issues and it was just deemed too risky to carry the astronauts back home. Wilmore is 62 years old, so he missed most of his youngest daughter's senior year of high school. Williams is 59 years old and set up internet calls from space to stay in contact with her elderly mother. In September of last year, the final decision was made for the Starliner to leave the space station without the astronauts on board. And the astronauts stayed busy up there. In January of this year, both Williams and Wilmore conducted a spacewalk to repair an X-ray telescope and also fix the orientation system for the space station. Which brings us to last Friday. This launch paving the way to bring both astronauts back to Earth today. So let's take a look at the timeline of events now. In minutes, the capsule begins its deorbit burn as it enters the atmosphere. And then about 45 minutes from now, the parachutes will be deployed. And at 557, the, astro the astronauts should splash down in the Gulf just off the Florida coast. Again, this is live coverage from NASA, and we will continue to follow this, including the splashdown that's happening at 557.